we are discussing granularity of data items. We know that whenever multiple transactions are executing concurrently, then there is a problem that is the interference of data. That means one transaction's update is getting cancelled, nullified by the other transactions. So, our data required protection and this protection will be obtained from the concurrency protocol. Now, which part of the data has to be protected? Should I protect a single table? Should I protect a column, a view, a page or a portion of the physical hard disk or physical disk space where my tables are being saved? What has to be protected? So, if you go for larger protection, if the pro protection volume is larger, then protection is ensured, but that will go against the degree of parallelism. That means, the concurrency will be hampered if you go for large volume protection obtained from the concurrency protocol. So, that is the origin of the subject granularity of data items. Let us discuss the text at first. The size of data items chosen as the unit of protection by a concurrency protocol. Granularity can range from small to large data items. I told you this one that is or as example the entire database, a file, maybe a page sometimes called an area or database space, a section of the physical disk in which the relations or tables are stored and saved a record or a field value of a record. So, what has to be protected? How much? If you go for larger protection, then protection is ensured better, but the degree of parallelism will get hampered. Concurrent execution of transactions will get hampered. So, transaction execution will get delayed for that. This size has a very significant effect in the designing of concurrency algorithms. And if the transactions are not getting executed in parallel due to the wrong selection of this protection volume, then the CPU utilization will drop down and that will go against the CPU performances. So, that is very important that how far, how much we should protect. So, this is the concept of granularity of data items. I think you are getting the logic. Thanks for watching this video.